Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. So, this is the image of today's case. First, go through it and come to your own diagnosis. Then, we will continue with the case discussion. Hello, welcome back everyone. Today we are going to discuss uh, GIT contrast studies. So let's move to case number 4. Our patient is 65 year old patient presented with chest pain. Actually it's kind of intermittent chest pain for one month duration. So this is the anteroposterior spot radiograph of the barium salo series. So can see a uh, abnormality here you can see the contrast column here I can see yes so surely there's uh, you can see the diaphragm here so there's a structure above the diaphragm level or oh, esophageal hiatus you can see the structure so it's actually the stomach stomach is herniated through the esophageal hiatus so you can see some rugae there, yeah, filling defects. So it's the stomach which is herniated through the esophageal hiatus. So that opacity, opacified structure, is a normal structure at the abnormal position. And uh, so this is the gastroesophageal junction. So this is the fundus, and this. And this part is body, this is the pylorus of the stomach. So this part is constricted because of the esophageal hiatus. And uh, this is the, so this thing is the duodenum. And uh, so, so the fundus and part of the body of the stomach is herniated through the esophageal hiatus. And we call this we call this time uh, this type of thing the hiatus hernia so when the gastroesophageal junction is more than two centimeters from the esophageal hiatus we call it hernia and uh, it's hiatus hernia actually and uh, so you have to see the complications of this thing uh, there are no pacifications of lung fields and uh, no contrast leakage into the mediastinum to suggest fistula tracks or perforations and uh, visualize bones normal you don't see any narrowing so abnormal dilatation in the esophagus and uh, no filling defects in the stomach also suggest neoplasms and uh, in this case the diagnosis is sliding type of hiatus hernia so the differential diagnosis are epiphrenic diverticulum epiphrenic diverticulum and also we have to think about uh, gastric pull up surgery Another one is uh, diaphragmatic rupture due to trauma. So those are few differential diagnoses for this kind of appearance. And uh, in this case, the the hernias, hiatus hernias, or the diaphragmatic hernias, two types. One is congenital. One is acquired. Congenital types are you call it. Uh, Diaphragmatic hernia in children. Children, it is common. So there are two types: uh, bondelic and uh, Mogan hernias. Then acquired the two. Uh, there are actually three types: sliding ones, the rolling hernias, and mixed ones. So acquired 90% are sliding hernias, as in this case. 10% other 10% are 
rolling and mixed type hernias rolling hernias uh, this uh, actually it's a paraesophageal hernia gastroesophageal junction is at the normal position and the fundus will be rolled over into the thorax so as in this case you have to exclude any gastric valvulus so here the greater curvature you can see this area so there's no open axial type gastric valvulus that's important thing so it's emergency surgical emergency so those things you have to exclude so that concludes case number four in git contrast studies so please subscribe our youtube channel then you will get notifications of our new videos and also you can comment on our videos thank you thanks for watching please like and subscribe for more videos like this